here question is saying if sin theta plus sin square theta plus sin cube theta is equals to 1 prove that cos to the power 6 theta minus 4 cos to the power 4 theta plus 8 cos square theta is equals to 4 right so here we are given everything in the sine form and we need to convert those all thing into the cos form right so how to find out uh, this everything or, or how to prove this all so first whatever we have got let's write here this is sine theta plus sine square theta plus sine cube theta equals to 1 right uh, what will be the next step now mm, yes see this is sine square theta and if I will convert this sine square theta uh, if, if I will place this sine square theta in the right side then it will be 1 minus sine square theta and that will uh, make uh, identity of cos square theta right so I just have to apply all the concepts all the tricks all the techniques that anyhow I will convert this everything this all sine form into the cos form right that is my main aim or my motto so now let me write here only sine theta whatever it is here and this sine cube theta sine cube theta and I am putting this sine square theta in uh, right side so it will be now sine square theta 1 minus sine square theta and we have learned a formula or uh, you can say identity that sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 and if I will take this sine square theta right side again so it will be cos square theta equals to 1 minus sine square theta so same thing I'm going to use here 1 minus sine square theta in the place of 1 minus sine square theta right I'm going to use this cos square theta so this will be now cos square theta and here what I can do I can't do anything uh, except taking the common sine theta so let me take the common sine theta here I'm taking a sine theta common so it will be nothing then there is 1 so it will be here 1 plus and this was cube theta now it will be sine square theta okay mm, yeah again uh, I can easily convert this sine square theta into the cos square theta but how can I convert this sine theta into the cos to convert this sine into the cos I must have to square it right and uh, from this relation I can easily convert later in the square form cos square form so squaring both side squaring both side squaring both side uh, what we'll get we'll get sine square theta 1 plus sine square theta and in the bracket whole square and it will be cos it is a square cos square theta and I'm going to square this whole so it will now cos to the power 4 theta okay that's cos I mean to say cosine okay and uh, now in next step sine square theta is you know from here see if I only write here sine square theta and now I'm taking this cos square theta in right side so it will be 1 minus cos square theta so here 1 uh, sine square theta I can write as 1 minus cos square theta so same thing I'm writing here sine square theta is equals to 1 minus cos square theta right so let me put it here like this and in the uh, place of sine square theta again I'm writing this 1 minus cos square theta so 1 plus 1 minus cos square theta and this is whole square again and this is cos to the power 4 theta again 1 minus cos square theta 1 plus 1 this is 2 minus cos square theta again whole square equals to cos to the power 4 theta let me lift a little bit down here fine now again 1 minus cos square theta and now see this is just like a plus uh, a minus b whole square right it's like a minus b whole square here 2 is working as a, a and cos square is working as a b so the formula of a minus b we have learned as in algebra is a square minus 2 times a times b plus b square so let me write here 2 square now a square that is 2 square that is 4 minus 2ab so that is 2 times a that is 2 
times b b that is cos square theta plus b square that is cos square theta so the square of cos square theta will be cos to the power 4 theta equals to cos 4 theta now again 1 minus cos square theta uh, let me arrange it properly so it will be 4 to two, uh, 2 times 2 it will be 4 cos square theta plus cos 4 theta equals to cos 4 theta again mm, now what to do well now let's multiply uh, this both this first part and second part so first one will multiply this whole and then finally minus cos square will multiply this whole okay so let me multiply by one to this four first and then to this part and then to this part one by one so I'll get one first one times four that is four and one times four cos square theta that is four cos square theta and then one times cos four theta so it will be of course cos to the power four theta okay and now the turn is of minus cos square theta so now this minus cos square theta will give to this part then this part then this part so minus so this is minus and this is plus so plus and minus minus 4 and again cos square theta cos square theta and again minus and minus c so minus and minus of course this is plus and 4 this is cos square theta and this is also square theta so a square and a square will add since it is multiplication because x to the power n and x to the power m will be x to the power n plus m so therefore it will be now minus cos square uh, sorry plus 4 cos to the power this 2 and 2 that will be 4 theta cos 4 theta and now uh, the last one minus cos square theta plus cos 4 theta these two will multiply so it will be minus because this is plus and this is minus so minus times this plus it will be minus and cos square theta times cos 4 theta will be cos to the power 6 theta and is equals to cos to the power 4 theta okay now in the next step I will take this side so first let me write whatever we have got we get here 4 now minus 4 cos square theta minus 4 cos square theta that is minus 8 cos square theta minus 8 cos square theta so we finished uh, what what the things we finished we finished this part we finished this part we finished this part now cos 4 theta and again 4 cos 4 theta so it is now 5 cos 4 theta right and let me write this cos 4 theta this side so it will be minus cos 4 theta and the left one is now cos uh, this is also 4 cos 4 theta so see how many 4 cos theta we have 1 cos 4 theta 4 cos 4 theta so this is 5 cos theta and yeah cos 4 theta so one the last one is cos to the power 6 theta equals to 0 okay so 5 minus 1 that will be 4 so 4 minus 8 cos square theta plus 4 to the power cos 4 theta minus cos to the power 6 theta equals to 0 okay now let's put the trigonometric ratios one side and the constants like numbers in another side so let me uh, write this all trigonometric uh, trigonometric ratios in the right side so it will be I'm just putting here 4 and rest of this in another side so this is minus 8 cos square theta so now it will be 8 cos square theta plus in the plus form and this is plus 4 th I mean this is positive 4 cos square theta so it will be now negative 4 cos 4 theta and now this is negative so it will be positive cos to the power 6 theta so uh, let me s let me see first what we need to prove yes see cos to the power 6 theta minus 4 cos 4 theta plus 8 cos square theta equals to 4 and yes we get this so let me arrange it properly as uh, the question is uh, asking to us cos to the power 6 theta minus 4 cos to the power 4 theta plus uh, sorry 
plus 8 cos square theta equals to 4 this actually question was asking to prove us and we got it now we can say this is proved right like this we need to solve this kinds of problem see what are the possibilities there uh, depending on the situation we have to use a lot of things not only the trigonometric uh, trigonometric uh, I mean identities sometime we may have to use the algebraic uh, identities also right but in the form of trigonometric identity so it's just imagine it's not trigonometry but it's algebra right treat it as algebra use all the algebraic concepts and uh, try to get the value or try to prove uh, as uh, we did over here okay so in the next video we'll be meeting with the different kinds of problem that will give you more concept in trigonometry bye bye